Well, hello everybody. It's Amy from Yo So Boho. Back with another Thursday night thrift. This week is a haul from the Happy Tales thrift shop in the Cuyahoga Valley. Um, my mom and I went shopping that day and I didn't feel like uh, turning on the camera. We were just having a good time going through the shop and these are the things we brought home. So let's just dive into it and see what we found. First, these great crackle glass. These are labeled with stickers that say made in Western Germany. They were a dollar a piece and I was truly hoping that they would work in my bathroom. I have used crackle glass in my medicine cabinet and I will include a photo. I was really hoping that these might sit on both sides of my medicine cabinet and kind of add to my crackle glass collection. However, they do not fit. So I will be listing them. There are a set listed right now. I could not find any sales comps, but this, the set listed right now I'll show you. I think they wanted like 50, between 55 and $60 for just two. Um, I did go ahead and pick up the third one because they had three. And I thought if the two didn't work for me, then, you know, somebody might need them for a vanity or for some other um, lighting fixture that had three. So I kind of thought ahead and that's what I ended up doing. So $3. I would love to get between 30 and 40 for the three. That would be awesome. So let's set this aside because these take up a lot of space. What was behind those was this cute little set of Lusterware West Virginia, so tourist salt and pepper shakers. These are vintage and what's cool about these is they have the Dragonware on them. They also have a little sticker, original sticker, GF made in Japan. But you can see this is that moriage where it's like a three-dimensional treatment on there. And the dragon kind of wraps around the state of uh, West Virginia. Very cool. These aren't worth a ton of money. I paid $3 for the pair. I'm looking online and I'm seeing others that sell in the $10, $12 range. There is another set of these exact ones on eBay for $14.99 plus I think $4 shipping. I'll probably be just under that so that um, I can be competitive, but they are very cool. I love the luster wear on them. And they have the, the P and the S on top. Um, and they do have their original stoppers with an additional sticker there for Japan. So nice little find there. And behind those, this was exciting. I found these three canisters and could not believe the price that they had on these. Actually, they had here, all the stickers said eight piece set for $8. So they were just looking for, you know, basically $2 a canister. Uh, however, I could not find a fourth canister. I could only find the, the three that I have here which is fine. That's still amazing for $8. All of them have their lids. They're all in beautiful condition and they are made by McCoy. So this is the strawberry canister set by McCoy with these great kind of stoneware speckled lids. This one has a glazing issue here where it didn't cover, but that's kind of to be expected in this kind of glazed um, ceramic. I know in my, my dishware set, my um, brown drip set, there's a lot of those little um, imperfections, but it's not a chip. It's actually, you know, just a place where the glaze didn't settle over. So very nice, nice big one, medium size and small. I will share with you a set like this of three just sold in September, I think in the 60, between 60 and $65. So I don't know if I can expect the same, but 
we shall see. Shipping these is not going to be all that fun. <laughs> I will have to take care. They don't really stack. I can put one of these inside of here, but this guy does not stack inside of this one. So it'll be a pretty big box and um, a little expensive to ship, but we'll get that done. This was also a nice little find. This is an Odagiri piece with the original sticker on it. Always cool to find. Just a three-dimensional cow picture. Now, I found one that sold recently on eBay, I believe for $24. However, I saw the measurement was only like a five and a half, almost like a creamer size, five and a half inch. This is like an eight inch. And when I go back, I can see that an eight inch one sold a while back for like $12 or $13. I think I'm probably in the $18 to $20 range with this picture, um, especially since it does have that original sticker on it. It's in beautiful condition. And then they had a couple other cow things that I did not, I passed on. But I did pick up this little guy for a dollar. I found some other ones. These sell anywhere from 10 to like $14 a piece. It's really cool because his tail is the actual handle. And he's in nice vintage condition. So I think I'll probably put a, a bid on, a starting bid on eBay, maybe eight or ten dollars, and see if somebody snags him. This little guy was just sitting on a shelf all by himself for a quarter. And I love his color. And he's so small, he can fit just about anywhere. I can imagine just adding him in my decor in the springtime, just as a little pop of color. So just a single salt, not worth anything. Just going into either my miniature collection or just to be added to a shelf. Okay, now this guy, how cool is he? He is a cracker holder. I found a bunch of other, you know, dachshund type or dog type cracker holders that I'll show you on eBay what they sold for. This guy's unique because his tail is a cheese knife. Very clever. Only one of the other ones that I saw, saw that sold had a cheese knife in his tail and it didn't fit the same kind of way it kind of fit weird and i don't know his style he's not extremely old he's a made in china piece he was made by a company called d e i there hard to see the e but it's just an import company so I'm getting better. I'm looking at made in China stuff. I think somebody will love him. I do a lot of charcuterie tray stuff around the holidays and I, <laughs> I'm tempted to keep him. Although I think I might look for one that has a little bit, um, I might look for more of a brown drip that'll kind of look good with my current dishes. But now that I know that these exist, how cute would he look with all these little crackers in his back? Very cool. And his personality, look at that face. Yeah, he's a great find. I paid, what did I pay for you? Oh no. I want to say I paid two or three dollars. That's all I paid for him. And I think I can expect somewhere in the mid twenties. I'm probably listing for about 26 and see what happens. While we're over here, I love candles. I burn candles all the time. And good quality candles, Yankee candles are expensive. So when I find them at the thrift store, I buy them. I believe I spent $8 on this one. Yep, also missing the tag. This one retails for $26.99. You know you can get these usually on sale for, you know, $18 or $20. But that's still, $8 is a great buy for this. It's a holiday scent. It smells delicious. So I was happy to find that. And then this cute little onesie. It looks like somebody may have printed a bunch of these and then just donated because there was a stack of them. My mom grabbed one and then I grabbed one. They were only $2. But look at this. Strong women. 
know them, be them, raise them. How cute is that? This was a 12 month, I think. Yep, 12 month. And I'm gonna hold on to this. I do know some babies, but they're a little big for this. <laughs> so I will be waiting for the next little lady to get this. And this is the kind of gift that um, this Aunt Amy would buy any little um, any little girl coming into the world. So I was stoked to find that. And then finally, this was the big prize winning purchase of the day. So at Happy Tales, there's a section of the store where you can buy stuff for pets, right? Because it's a humane society, they have a lot of like Dog, dog and cat toys and um, beds and all that, food bowls, all that kind of stuff. Well, underneath one of the tables, mom noticed this. And she pointed to it and she said, what is that? It looks brand new. And so we picked it up. I saw that it had a $15 price tag on it. I'm like, that's a great price for that. That's a beautiful, basically brand new cat carrier. And I could really use one. So I said, grab it, mom. I'm going to take that. Um, that seems like a great, a great thing. And the way that it opens up and it zips completely out, I was really happy and, and, you know, pretty thrilled to find it. Well, turns out <laughs> as we were leaving, mom got curious and looked up the Sleepy Pod mobile pet bed and found it on Amazon. I'll share the listing. We both, we both about died. <laughs> I, we were high-fiving. I said, way to go. Great find, Mom. You win for the day. $15, and it's a $200 cat bed. That's amazing. So all in all, great day. Quite a few things. I mean, I'm keeping the cat bed for, for me, for my cats. Um, this will be a gift. And the rest of it, oh, the candle will be mine. That little bird, <laughs> she will stay here. But the rest of it will be listed on eBay. Probably will do a little bit on the timing of these. So these items here and the set of three of these will all hit eBay here this week. Pretty good haul, right? I think so. We had a great time. I love shopping with my mom. Our eyes kind of go to different things. So she opens my eyes to things that I maybe wouldn't have shopped for. And I point out things and teach her a little bit in return. So this was a great, great trip. We found a lot of amazing things. I will put some numbers up here on the wall as to my spend. And if I was to resell all of it, I'll include that number. Now I told you already I'm keeping the cat bed and that was the big valuable thing. But if I decided to sell it, I'll kind of put on there what I could expect. So thank you everybody so much. Thanks for all the support. Please, if you haven't, click that little like button. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a little comment below. That helps so much. If you can, share it. Definitely, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Hit that little alarm so you know when I, uh, when I put up a new video. I do put up videos every Thursday, sometimes in between. Thanks everybody so much. I'll catch you next week. Please take care.